Hey everybody, welcome back to my real-time caustics in Unreal Engine 4 tutorial series. This is part two, and today we'll be covering how to install Visual Studio 2019 and compile your first build of Unreal Engine 4 to create your first real-time caustics animation. So, without further ado, let's get started. So, first we're going to come here to this Visual Studio 2019 link. The link is in the description, and you're going to want to come down, click on download, and it's going to take you to a Windows Azure page. So you're going to need to sign in, and it will bring you to this page, just click confirm. And from there, just go to downloads, and then find the Visual Studio Community version 2019. You should download that and then I will take you through the install really quickly. Save that somewhere where you can find it easily, and from here, the installer should come up and we can just click continue to move forward. Once it's got the repositories built up, then we will be selecting which packages we want to use inside of Visual Studio. So, if you look at the Unreal Engine documentation for Unreal Engine and Visual Studio, you need to make sure that you have the Unreal Engine installer checked when you're using uh, 2019, as well as the C++ for gaming development. So we're going to check that and then make sure that Unreal Engine installer is checked. And then make sure until a code is there, that just ensures that it fills in any code while you're, when you're typing. You won't need any of that for this tutorial. And then one other thing is the MS build. Previously when I built this, I found a lot of Times it failed without the MS build feature. So make sure you check desktop, desktop development with C++ and click install. From there, Visual Studio should install. It should take a little while. Once it's done, it should just launch and then I want you to just click on continue without code. That should bring you into a blank Visual Studio project in which then we can just right click and click customize, go to commands, then toolbar, click standard, so scroll down and find standard, and then from there scroll down to you see solution configurations, modify that selection and type in 200. This isn't specifically necessary, but this is a common configuration that they suggest that you do for Unreal Engine and the use of Visual Studio in tandem with Unreal Engine. So from there we go to tools and then options. And then we're going to scroll down until we find projects and solutions. And then we're just going to uncheck always oh, show error list if the finish with errors because sometimes Unreal Engine's code doesn't show correctly in Visual Studio and so it thinks it's an error but it's really not. There's also an Unreal Visual Studio extension. We don't really need it. Okay, next we're going to go to the NVIDIA page here link is in the description and we're going to find the NVIDIA custom branches. So down here you'll be able to see the NVIDIA RTX Caustics branch as well as the other branches of Unreal Engine. Now these just have the features of NVIDIA Omniverse and their other technologies built into Unreal Engine. So once you click on that GitHub link though for the Caustics build, you'll see that it's only 4.25. That is not the version we want. We want the version 2.7. So if you come up here to the MVRTX Caustics and then you can see the 5.0 build of MVRTX that does not have Caustics. But if you scroll down, there's a 4.27 build here which we can click on and then we can download the zip folder and begin compiling our first version of Unreal Engine 4 in Visual Studio. So save that somewhere easily accessible and I would recommend you do it in your Windows C and then make a folder called UEDev because the installation of Unreal Engine has a lot of long character paths and Windows limits that to 256 and so you want to keep it short. So I'd recommend UE4 or UE Dev and then inside there just navigate to where you saved that zip folder and then once that's finished downloading then you can extract it. Now you can use the Windows Extract but I found that it's crashed my Windows Explorer a lot of times so I just download 7-zip and it does it a lot faster and it's a bit more streamlined and it's a really fast install process you literally just click on the exe and click install and then 10 seconds later it's installed then you can just right click if you're in windows 11 you have to click the show more options 
but in Windows 10 it should just be there, and then you just extract here. So from there, basically we're going to delete the zip folder and open this. And in here you'll see all the files you need, but down here at the bottom you'll see setup bat, and that is the project you're going to want to use. So we're going to close all these windows here and double click on setup.bat. Now you might need to enable administrator privileges, but I don't think you will. This is going to take a while, but once it's done, then you should see an administrator privileges, click on that and allow it. Then we're going to set up the Unreal Engine project files. So you click on generate project files.bat. And from here, this is also a very long process. So be patient, it will take some time, but it will close and then it will eventually just pull up this little file here called a UE4 SLN. This is a solution file for Visual Studio. When you double click on it, then we should see the project. Right click on UE4 here in the top right corner and then click build. Now, this is also a very long process and depending on your computer's hardware, this could take anywhere from two hours to maybe a couple of minutes. So anything with a slower CPU, expect a couple of hours. Um, and while you're waiting, then just do something else. Once you're in it though, come into Engine, Binaries 164, and then in the top search bar, type in ue4editor.exe. Then you can right click this, or well, double click on it, and boot it up, and then I'll, oh, man, compiling shaders? You gotta be kidding me. That'll take a while. Once it's compiled, we're just gonna make a blank project, click next, and we're gonna just make sure that you enable ray tracing, disable the starter content, and rename it to something like my first caustics project or caustics tutorial. So, yeah, I'm just gonna call it mesh caustics and create the project. Now here, you're gonna compile the shaders four or five times. It's gonna compile 45%, 71, 72, and 73, and it's finally gonna boot up Unreal Engine 4, and then you're gonna see it's gonna compile them again. So this is a very long process of just waiting. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed today's tutorial. If you have any questions about compiling your builds in Visual Studio, let me know. Make sure that it's version 2019 because that is the version of Visual Studio that they were compiled in. If you don't compile them in Visual Studio 2019, there will be bugs inside of the editor. It may even run, but Unreal Engine 4 will have a couple of problems in the background. So ensure that you only open the SLN file with Visual Studio 2019. If you open it with a newer version, it will always want you to use a future version. So please make sure you do that. Anyways, go click on the next video, watch part three, and we will get started on building and setting up your scene, materials, and your lights to generate correct caustics in Unreal Engine. Thanks, see you in the next episode.